Hello everyone, welcome to experiment this week. So plus two cards, plus one action, return this to the supply. Very key, because it's cheap, it's three coins and it's our, it's our lab. So it would be crazy if it didn't have some condition. And when you gain this, gain another experiment. And that second experiment doesn't come with another experiment, is what um, they mean here in this parentheses. So we'll have a few games here with experiments, see how it does. It's usually a good card. I think a lot of times you prefer that to silver. Especially in the instances where you don't want to have a silver stuck in your deck for a long time. Sometimes silver is good and you prefer it to the experiment. But sometimes you just want silver once to get to five. Um, the extra cards from experiment can possibly get you there. Do a similar kind of rule. And it's cheap, so oftentimes when you have spare buys or something, you can pick up experiments, get the draw. There's no way ever for this to stick around. It always goes back to the supply. Um, another point is because it behaves like port, it is easy to pile the experiments. Although not as easy as ports, of course, because experiments, they keep going and coming into and out of the supply. But, you know, you just need 12 well, 15 coin and 5 buys to empty the experiments rather than 3T coin and 10 buys, which is actually a lot more difficult to get than 15 and 5. Anyways, so we'll see what we can do here with the experiment. Here also is worth points because of tower if you can empty the experiments. I don't think you can. So it looks like groundskeeper and recruiter for trashing. So here you would want the recruiter to trash, right? And how do you get there? Well, quarry is a nice way to get there. And you could pair it with either the experiment or an enchantress. And we are going to go ahead here with the experiment on the open just to have a look and see how it does. So we're going to get a couple of recruiters out. So the experiments all missed. That is totally fine. Totally fine. If we see just one of them in the next shelf, in the next hand, with the quarry or without the quarry, we'll be happy still. Uh, here, I think we'll go ahead. We could take more experiments at this point, but I would like to go ahead and get an enchantress here. And here you go, an experiment in hand. And the other experiment is at the top of the deck. So here you see, I didn't even need the quarry. I got the five just from playing that one experiment. So like I said, it can replace silver in a lot of cases where you would want to buy a five cost. So here we'll go ahead and get the experiment going first and then play the recruiter to try to trash an estate. We do manage to get there. We'll stick the enchantress down and pick up another recruiter. So we get to five again. I think this time we go for festival. In tandem with quarry, the experiments get extremely cheap. So you can buy a lot of labs, one shot labs, but still they're good. They're not awful by any stretch. By any stretch. And we'll use the recruiter to thin as we go along here. So we'll get the festival out. And what do we get here now? Perhaps we want another enchantress and we have five cards to go through here. Let's get a couple experiments. Hopefully we can get around to the recruiters one more time before we start going after the groundskeepers a bit more heavily. So here's an experiment. Uh, it doesn't uh, do that much, but we do get to stick an enchantress into play. And again, we're hitting, well, no situation is different. We have less estate, so it's easier to get to five. We'll take one more festival here, and then we'll move along into the groundskeepers, I believe. So let's go looking for that estate. We don't quite find it, but we do have actions uh, from the festivals, and we have a lone villager, so it's okay. We do find the estate here, which is good news for us and enchantress comes down 
All right, so there you go. Look how cheap it is, right? One coin with the quarry. I just need a couple more boys and I can empty the pile if I want. If I want, so the question is, do I want? I don't think I want to just yet. I think we just go for some groundskeepers, try to play this game as quickly as possible and find another game so we can have another look at experiment here. Yeah. So emptying the groundskeepers, we didn't find the enchantress there, but that's okay. We still found enough money for triple groundskeepers. Um, I can play this actually with no problem whatsoever because we have the villagers and um, I could go ahead and play both enchantresses here. I will go ahead and do so. Pick up two more just to sustain the draw and a groundskeeper and we should be off to the races here. Uh, yeah, the bot is playing money. It's picked up a province already, but <laughs> you know how groundskeeper works. That province isn't worth anything at all in the face of groundskeeper. So it turns out we don't have money. So let's just get some money because the price of the green cards don't come down with quarry. Then we can get the last groundskeepers then start hitting the estate pile whatever green pile you like really so we can get rid of this put down the enchantresses and the actions let's get all the groundskeepers and let's get some experiments see i have spare buys here these experiments do not hurt the deck at all there are some cases where it might, but really, just putting two labs into your deck might give you, you know, all the impetus you need for our next turn, which could be oh so crucial. And here, I feel like I can even save these experiments. Perhaps I don't think so. Let's see. Can we save at least one of them? We can. So here, I have a lab in the deck for me to use at my convenience. So let's leave that experiment in the deck. Go ahead, pick up three estates. And guess what else? An experiment. We could go for another enchantress too, but we're on experiments here. All right, cool. So now we can play these recruiters, get some draw to them. Well, you know, they move forward in the deck. They don't really draw with the festivals. And um, we should be good to go here. Should be good to go. Let's just pile out the estates. And I don't think we can pile out the experiments. I don't think we can. Because we don't have enough buys. One, two, three get another experiment but we'll see how far we can maybe we can we just need to hold on to these and then find the festivals we could pile out the experiments and get the tower points for that so grounds 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 we're looking for the festival we didn't find it that's okay We'll try to pile out the experiments next turn. So we just need to find the festival and the quarry, which we have already. And uh, we have it here, right? This is enough. So let's stop here. Pick up the experiments for the win. Hooray. Yeah, so experiment, a uh, fun card. Nice utility card there. I don't know what utility means, I just say the word. But it's a one shot lab, and sometimes that's good enough for $3. Seriously. Like sometimes you do the same thing for encampment. You buy it even though you know it's going to go back to the supply. Just because it's, it's the best thing to buy at the time, and it's totally worth it. Anyways, let's have a look here. 
experiment on board. Experiment can help set up a nice cemetery. Uh, something pathfinding you don't really want to put on cemetery. Um, plus buy is here in Ranger and Ducat. So the plus buy is kind of important for the experiments. If you are limited on buys or gains, experiment becomes a bit more, you know, dodgy at that point. Because you really want to maximize you always want to maximize your buys and gains, right? But in, like in the last game, I had a spare buy and some money left over, so why not buy the experiment, right? It, it doesn't hurt at all, that deck. Anyway, so somehow we have to trash with Cemetery, and I'm not entirely sure how that is going to go down. Um, seriously, I have no idea how that is going to go down. I'm bad with trashing with Cemetery. That means there's a mirror around so we can get a ghost. Might be valuable. A fun thing with experiment too is with procession. So because it always goes back to the supply, you never run out of experiments to feed to your procession. Which is cool. And you can throw it. You get the effect twice, so it's fine, even though it goes back to the supply. So that is also nice. Um, how do you trash here with cemetery? I have no idea. We could do something. What do we even want to do after we trash? I'm not sure. Rangers have to draw. Idols have to be played, I guess, on platinum. Anyways, let's go ahead get a silver. Let's get an experiment. I try to trash. Wow, what a good hand this is. I don't think we'll pick up a ducat. The settler seems better. And both the experiments miss. Which again is fine, right? Um, oh, this pathfinding. Ha, I should be keeping an eye on that. Putting it on advisor or something. Oh, that's what you do here. Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get the idol. That's fine. Uh, let's see if we can get a nice trash. It looks like we will be able to get a nice trash in here with the cemetery. Alright, there you go. Cemetery. One, two, three, four. Brought to you by two experiments. Settlers up, and we have enough for another idol, I guess. Let's go ahead and get the other idol. Let's play this idol. And let's play another idol. Um, here the cemetery isn't so hot. We could we could buy Pathfinding. I have one action card in the deck, but I could buy it. I can certainly buy Pathfinding. Um, that doesn't seem right at all. Let me take the Ranger instead. And what now? Experiments, I think, because I want to get to another ranger, which I'm going to get to here. And a city. Okay, here's the city. So let's see if the experiment can bring us some trashing. Not quite. This isn't good enough to trash, I think. Oh, well, look, the idle trash is for us. How nice. So we burned one experiment there. That's fine. Because we have the ranger flipped over now. So we should be able to get a good trash in once we play the ranger another time. And hey, look, we're guaranteed to find this ranger. Um, well, hold on. Yeah, let's just play this ranger to turn the token over again. And I'm going to trash the mirror again, a ghost here. So, I can trash up to four, right? So I have to keep this copper around. So yeah, pathfinding is an option too here. But you know me, I'm not really concerned about the bot. Oh, there's Syrix. I didn't even see him. Whoa. I wonder how long Cyrix was there. No one told me. No one told me. Maybe he left the table because, you know, he was being ignored. I apologize. Okay, cool. So we can play against Cyrix here. We'll probably get a couple games in. 
before we call it so let's get rid of the bot and our guest of the last few weeks six is in the mix ah okay let me see if i can fix that discord i don't know how to fix that on discord let's try mute unmute settings so maybe Sirix can hear me now can he? I don't know I switch the mic um, research seems good here Oh, nothing. Now uh, we'll take research. How about now, Serix? Is there anything coming through now? Okay, cool. What did I buy? Uh, research. So he's doing experiment potion. So he's looking to get the familiar fast and junk me quickly. We'll go ahead and take an experiment of our own here so we can trash more quickly. Yay! So there goes the familiar. Maybe I want our potion too. Yeah, let's take our potion. Okay. So I have to be a bit careful here. So I will trash and not play the experiment because, well, hold on. The research will miss the shuffle anyway. So let's just play the experiments. What am I doing? And we have a grand total of three, which we will use to pick up more experiments. Because all we want to do here is try to junk each other as quickly as possible. If we manage to junk each other good and proper, then we have a clear advantage. And also we want to trash as quickly as possible with the research. So we just use an experiment to get to the things we want to play more often. So there are lots of familiars. Um, let's, just, let's play this research and just get more experiments. I have one familiar, two familiars. Cool. But he has three of them. I feel like I'm going to get junked out here. Five is our lab, so a more permanent. Um, a more permanent experiment. So we'll get rid of the potion here. I can't do anything on this hand anyway. We'll have our big turn here. I don't know what you do with the big turn, but hopefully we get to play at least one familiar. That'll be nice. Wait, I know what's in the research. Let's have a look. An experiment is in the research, so. Play one. Nice, nice. So we get to play a familiar. And we'll play one more experiment here. Oh, familiar, how nice. So we need to get the trashing stuff under control. I think we'll buy a research. We have four curses in hand. That is that is something. That is certainly something. Um so I think we lost the curse split, which is expected, given that we didn't open potion. But we'll see what we can do from here. No one has experiments now. So that's just something to take note of. So we'll just play the one familiar. Yeah, well, yes. Could go ahead, silver or experiment. I still think I want to experiment to try to trash Hopefully we get enough money here to do something. Yeah, we do get enough money. And probably just more experiments. Like I don't I don't see why I should pick up silver. If I get rid of the greens and purples, then I can think about silver, I think. Another lab that is good for Cirx. So let's fire off these experiments, trap a couple cards on this research. 
Set aside two creases. Excellent work, research. Excellent work. So maybe now I could start thinking about a silver. So, uh, an experiment for Cyrix there. Alright, this was not a good draw, but we'll trash and move on. Alright, so now I can start thinking about silver, I feel. Yeah, merchant is cool. So let's get rid of this. For a silver now. And we should be good to build something here. But Cyrix is ahead. He has a couple labs now. And less curses. No curses, probably. Oh, triple research. I didn't even see that. That was good. Alright, so we get rid of this curse. I guess we buy a merchant, that seems a bit early. Yeah, okay, so he's drawing deck, I think the game is done. So he won on the um, Junkin split here, yeah, the treasure map, and then the other treasure map, and then you buy provinces, yeah. Okay, very good. But there you got to see one use of experiment. Just wanted to get to things, the important things, faster. But of course, I think... Oh yeah, I, I went on research first, right? He went on the potion first. Yeah, research is too slow of a treasure. To warrant that kind of play. Alright, so... Plan on experiment. That's an excellent plan. To, and there's procession on experiment too which you can use to gain more procession, so, you know, not the greatest thing in the world, but we'll take it. So plan on experiment here is quite good, because you are likely to get to 5 by doing that, if you open with the experiment, even if you, well, no, if you open with the experiment. And procession on experiment gives you actions to play, you know, the goons, the old witches, the merchant guilds, if you like. So let's see where this goes. This is an exciting game, actually. Lots of stuff can happen. Takes the procession immediately. And also the procession means that the... You get the experiment played twice, right? So what we'll do... Is go for market. And the experiment pile never finishes. So that's another reason why is a good plan target because yeah it never finishes unless somebody is hoarding experiments in which case in which case why would you man why would you just hoard the experiments i uh, will take a guardian because goons are coming soon i say soon they're coming at some point i don't know when uh he gets to process the um experiment which is very very nice for him I should get a procession at some point here. But this turn looks like the goons. Oh, it could be double experiment, but I think we'll go for the goons. Ah, here's my two experiments. So hopefully we get to something like seven. And I can do... Okay, hold on. Yeah, we do get to 7. Okay, okay, we get to 7. I'll take these. Don't trash this, put the Guardian up. Yeah, lots of processions happening here. The game can end very quickly with these processions. Look, look at this madness. Is there a thing to do here? Am I missing something? I don't know. He's gaining lots of processions. And now, our market. And he's buying back the experiments. Okay, great. So, experiment. 
do we take the curse? I don't even know if that's like a smart thing to do. It doesn't seem smart. It doesn't seem smart at all. I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> the guardian doesn't seem smart either, but it seems less bad than the curse. Okay, so here's an experiment. Oh, we get to do the trick too. Here we go. Procession experiment. We'll take a procession for our troubles. Please and thank you. Here come the goons. Um, can we triple trash here? We cannot. That's too bad. So we can just double trash. I could trash the guardian. If I want to. But I, I really think I just want to trash and get lots of experiments in. Um, yeah, we'll take more experiments and not trash this thing. Oh, this is a great hand, but he's probably gonna take, yep, all the possessions. And the goons makes the experiment very nice. You just keep buying. <laughs> and keep scoring because of the goons. So I feel like... So procession, procession. Old witch. I'm happy for my guardians now. And a merchant guild, yeah, merchant guild is good. Guildy locks. Quite a turn here. Experiment, trashing, experiment, trashing. And the guardian comes out, yeah. So, I don't know. I would like to be able to trash here, but we'll see. A fateful haunt. Yeah, it takes the points. Reasonable. I thought about it last turn, but I didn't think hard enough to actually go ahead and do it. And yeah, procession the experiment, man. But I want a guild as well. Sure, why not? Enjoy your traders. Oh, wait, I didn't even see trader. What the hell? I'll procession that. Where the, where's the trader? Find me a trader. Good, here it is. Procession. Trader, get rid of these coppers. Haha. And now we can take... What? Another merchant guild? I don't even know if that's good. Let's go ahead and do it anyway, because greediness is a great thing. Alright. So, goons. Guild. Guild. So, right, we can't trash everything, but we can trash most things. Experiment. Experiment. You can even buy coppers just to trash them back. That's not crazy at all. Let's buy the curse to be wild. It's not that wild, actually. Because I could use the trader on it. Anyways, um, let's just. Well, let's take one more copper. For the culture. For the culture. Okay, so yeah, he gains another goons, which is good. Oh, there go all the processions. Oh, there comes back the processions. Hooray for processions. Oh, now he's gaining traders. There you go. I think I have a bit less draw than him. He has this old witch. Does he still have the old witch? I don't know. Did it get fed to the procession? No, he has it. I have two processions. There are five in the bin. So he has three of them, which are all in play right now. All of them are in play right now. Uses a coffer for market. Experiment trashing the curse. Yep, yep, of course. Okay, so. I don't think I have 
a chance to play everything. So we got our trader there. Hooray. Um, let's keep playing these experiments. Yes. Can play one more. I don't have actions to play everything. Which is kind of dumb when you think about it, but we'll make actions. Trashing the goon. So I wasted draw that because I'm dumb, but it's okay. It's okay. Everybody calm down. I have a lot of money and a lot of buys, and I don't know what to do with it. So let's just get lots of experiments. We could even use the experiments to trash the trader. Done reacting. Done react. This trader is annoying now. <laughs> I don't want to turn it back. You know what? Go away. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, we could buy um let's buy coppers we have experiments for days Could I even bought our curse there the experiments come back the return of the experiments so lots of traders i wonder if we could pile out on the traders. I have a lot of money because of those guilds, but he has more points than me. So not quite able to pile out here. Is the old witch dead? Or is the old witch still here? The old witch is, is still there, so he has lots of draw. Lots and lots of draw. So there go all the experiments. What now? What now, Cyrix? What now, Guardian? Another Guardian. Okay. So, I'm going to try to pile the game here. For fun. So, how do we do that? I'm not entirely sure. Let's play one experiment. Let's play one more experiment. Okay, so let's go ahead, procession, procession, experiment, and I think we need the draw, and this also helps with the pile. No, I want the trader, and we trashed an experiment, a procession, so we should gain a fight cost. We will make it be a market, because we would like the market, please and thank you. Let's draw that market. Play both goons. Play both guilds. I guess we don't care about trashing the coppers if it's the last turn of the game. Oh, I can't do it, can I? I need three, or maybe I can. I don't know, let's just see. So experiment. We can kill the traders, I guess, because then they would keep doing this, asking me if I want to exchange for silvers. So you know what? Let's kill them to avoid future complications. Don't trash. Trader, trader, province. Whoa, the province made it. Hooray. Hooray for province. Yeah, that was that was fun. Crazy. Lots of gaining all over the place. I wasn't really sure what I was doing, but sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is very fun. So imagine if there was a like, advisor or caravan on the board of heroines. Lots of nice four costs here. Alright, so check it out. We have Monastery, which again, likes the double gain of experiment. Talisman also. Hold up. Talisman gets you four experiments. 
Am I reading that right? Or is it just three? Oh, yeah, four experiments. Wow. <laughs> Those are a lot of experiments. That's pretty cool. So we need the monastery to fight ill-gotten gains and also just the trash in general. Um, I don't know what you want to build here. I have no idea what there's no buy. So outpost is super important. I might be wild and get a talisman at some point. Oh, here we're getting the experiment for sure, because we have the monastery in hand. What did he take? Talisman, yeah. So we'll get rid of this copper. Too bad we couldn't get rid of an estate there. And the nice thing is that those experiments will draw us back into the monastery. And will let us perhaps do a double gain kind of thing and trash more with the monastery. Yeah, so he does the trick there. Not trick per se. What is this? I guess we top deck this experiment and buy two more. Trashing two estates along the way. Very soon we will have no money. In fact, I only have like five dollars in the deck, right? I shouldn't trash any more copper. Oh, he has more talismans. Hello. He can drain the experiments if he wants to. But I do want an outpost before I trash all the remaining other coppers. Yeah, they go on the experiments. <laughs> Very good. Um, can I see my money? That I can. So I guess you top deck the experiment. Let's get the outpost and kill the estate. We need a talisman so we can do fun things like buy one experiment gain eight. Yeah, look, this is <laughs> massive trash. How much did he gain? Six of them? So he's going to trash six guards here? That's crazy. If he wants, I guess. But he can. Just the talisman can gain silvers back for you very easily. That was cool. That was cool. I like that. Ah, here's the outpost. And here's a talisman. And here are some experiments. That was a pretty good outpost turn. <laughs> Cool. The next um, next thing on the agenda, I guess, might be to gain more talismans. Who knows? So this is outpost, okay. And then he might do silvers or something. We're not entirely certain. He has a caravan. And one experiment into outpost. Um. So it could be silvers now. I don't know what the silvers do, though. Silvers don't really do much, but yeah, sure, let's, let's have the silvers. There's an argument to be made for doing the experiments and then the silvers, but I think I can manage the silvers. I have a caravan in play too. What am I saying? Of course I can manage. He says as he draws dead. I don't know why I'm buying money. I should just be trying to do something fun with talisman instead seriously that's what I should be doing should have picked up two more talismans with that talisman caravans Courtyards now. Uh, okay, that looks like outposts. And I guess Talisman. I don't really know. Can we find the. Oh, we definitely can find it. Well, my deck is small. I should probably trash some of these silvers. Should I? I don't know. Stop like the gold. So one, two, what do we want? What do we really want? 
um, perhaps we go ahead with the caravan plan and just get rid of that silver. I don't know why. I didn't like it. Yeah, so all the other caravans go there. Oh, you resigned. Okay. I didn't expect that. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah. I yeah, yeah, so I guess right, he wanted the caravans to fire on the outpost then. Okay. Okay, cool. What time are we at? Uh this will probably be the last one for experiment, but you've seen lots of nice things with it actually. It's a, quite a good exhibition for experiment. Yeah. So experiment opening again. I assume that was with a money lender. This board is like strikingly simple. It's just draw and money. There's nothing else to do here. The magpies will be important, of course. Well, you know. Just because you have to use money. Oh, there's torturer. Oh no, there's torturer. Please help. Send help immediately. He's going for the magpie. I want the money lender. I we just keep piling experiments because I feel like with the experiments plus the money lender I can get to well I'm gonna get the five right so let me take out village because torture is a thing but there's a torture I don't need to play that experiment I can just get my torture with this this one I guess is a magpie I guess so, unless he attacks me. No, no attack. Fortress. This is a good hand, but we may get attacked. Looks like we'll get attacked. We don't. Second torture. Um, we actually need to play this experiment. Because we don't have money to do anything meaningful. So second torture for us as well. Now is a good time to get attacked. We can discard easily here. Yeah, another fortress. Good. So we will also we need village as well because we wanna oh boy, okay. <laughs> On the other hand, this makes it easy to discard. Oh so easy. I think you play the money lender here. Yeah. So it choices between village and experiment. Village, right? Because torture is a pain in the backside and you want to play it as often as possible. So you might hit us with another one here. Uh, we will accept one curse and hope that it was worth our time to do so. Village. Magpie. Good job, Magpie. Magpie. Oh, no, that wasn't so good, Magpie. Okay, cool. And there's one village in there. Yeah, okay. So there's a village in there, at least. See? Um, I don't know if the experiment was better there or not, but I'd rather be able to play lots of torturers than just play two of them frequently. Okay, good. Good job, Magpie. You're finding villages. You're not finding it, but you're telling me it's there. Okay, so he took one. And he might discard here. I guess we have no money. We actually have no money. But you know what? We're going to keep buying torturers. Okay, let's discard this. When we get down to the last copper, we'll buy silver. 
Um, okay, we have to take our craze here. There's no way we are discarding that hand. Yeah, and we'll take one more. So the magpies are out. The craces will run out as well. And nobody has money. Is he going to buy a torture? I don't know. Maybe I'll consider a silver on the next hand. Next time I have money for silver. Does he also have... Yeah, he also has the two coppers. I think... Contraband. Has money. Is also buy. He takes a curse off the bat there. What do you have in your hand? Discards. Okay, very good. We end up with five of the magpies. That's nice. So we'll make him ask the same question then instead of trashing with the money lender. We have a grand total of two. We'll take our pawn. Hey, the pawn is money. If we draw nicely. Here they come. Torture us for days. So we've both taken three graces at this point. Yep, we have to take one here and then discard to the other one. And hope there's a village on top of the deck. Because if there is no village, contraband. I don't want you to have experiments, I think. I don't know what the call is there. Get another torture, I'll find. Hey, there was a village. Good, good work. Go, Magpie. That was drawn in the opposite order, but we'll take it. So we force our discard, but we don't make him take any curses, which is bad. Because if he doesn't take the curses, oh, we will probably take the curses. But it turns out he also stalls. Go, Magpie, find the other copper. Where is it? No, I didn't have a copper. I was wrong. Yeah, there you go. There's the couple, but I was wrong about the location. No, oh, I guess this pawn we don't need to, you know, have it be money now. So he took curses. Very good. Do I take our silver? I think we take the experiment here. Because I can get a gold. Oh wow. What a hand. If I draw everything and the experiments help me to draw everything. So let's get rid of these two. And let's get rid of these two. <laughs> let's just discard the hand. The hand was rubbish anyway. What was I going to do there? I c potentially you could have bought a silver, right? If I found the silver and the copper, but I feel like that's asking way too much for my deck to draw those two cards in the top 3 of 20. Um, I have no idea. Don't, don't buy money, please. He's buying two silvers. So let's hope we get our stall here. If not, we'll have to take the curse. And actually, ah. Uh, okay, so since it is just one torture, we will discard. Contraband. Contraband. Not contraband. Don't buy experiments. I'm hoping he doesn't have money for gold or something here. It's just, yeah, he just has these three, it looks like. Oh no, experiments, don't let me down. Okay, cool. Alright, so the plan with the experiments was to get to gold, right? So we need to find back that pawn. Oh, here's everything. Okay, so we could get the gold very easily. The pawn is all plus by. 
as well. Hey, we win the curse split. Hooray. Can't really play that magpie. What I can do is trash this card coin. And just pick up the gold. I should have known that was a magpie on top, but you know. When you're dumb, that bad things happen to you. Anyway, there are two torturers left. Um, to finish the game. So those experiments did their job. Got me to a gold. I now have five dollars in deck. Six if I put the pawn as money. So I would like to get another gold. I think. He thinks the money lender is dead now, so that frees up some village spots. Alright, pawn. Magpie on top. Magpie. Find the silver now, magpie. Alright, torturer. Can find the silver? No. Can this one find the silver? No. Where is the silver? Is it here? It is here. Um, what is on top of the deck? Looks like a village. Looks like a village, so we'll just leave it. No, it's an estate. Oh, card coin. Okay. I mean, if I buy a torture, can he do anything about it? Maybe. He has to use the contraband, right? And then I just block points if he plays the contraband. He has some silver. Whatever. I'm doing it. I don't care. I don't care. Try to win on, on a margin of two points when he can easily buy a duchy. That, that seems sound. That seems like a good choice. So we found at least two silvers, we know that much. Oh, he has to buy in the pawn. Right, of course. I knew that. I knew that. So we probably lose here. He just needs ten. Oh, so he has to buy the Contra. So... Um, this actually matters. Because I don't want him to buy points. If I block Duchy, he can get the province. Does he have ten dollars? You know what? I don't think you have ten dollars, but I don't know. You could easily have ten dollars. Oh he doesn't. Oh, like I knew. I didn't know. He blocked province there. But that's totally fine here, because he just does just does Duchy. And I literally cannot do anything about it. I have six dollars in the deck. Hey, experiments. Okay, cool. Find treasure. Find treasure. I actually found treasure. Wow. I was not expecting it to actually find treasure. Go, Mike, but find some treasure. Can you find treasure now? No, you can't. Cool, cool. No worries. Oh, so what's on top of the deck? Um, estate again. So now I'll lose if he buys torture, so I have to buy points. Um, yeah, I could have gone for a copper here too if I wanted. So let's buy the points. Uh, hopes he stall hope he stalls before we do There's no oh look it, it happened now we just need to find five dollars um we block dutchy here i don't care if he buys two estates i'll take the tie whatever okay turns out he just had the contraband magpie find treasure nope 
we found one treasure. We need to find the other one now. Reveals our village. Village, 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 village. Is that torture in this deck? Um, I think we just do card action. Oh, there is a torture in this deck. Cool. That two more. Ah, oh, we found it. Okay, cool. Alright, so that was just unnecessarily risky, but, you know, in the interest of time. Sirix is saying experiment is pretty good. He did buy it quite a lot, well, so did I. Especially with anything that interacts with being an action. Yeah, we saw Quarry before you got here. Academy, right? We saw Quarry before you got here. We saw Procession. We had a nice Procession board. I was glad we were able to find one of those. Academy. Yeah, you get double um doubled villagers for that gainers we didn't see any gainers here like workshop or armory or something but the gainers also take advantage of the double gain listed on a experiment we saw a talisman which is cool which is cool. We didn't see any pileouts with experiments though. And I thought it would be very difficult to find such a thing, but I've seen it happen. I've been involved in some of them at some point. I mean, I did it against the bot, but that's the bot, right? But it happened against a human opponent at least once, I remember. So it is certainly possible. Yeah, it's just five buys, fifteen dollars. Wasn't the goons game a pilot on experiments? Oh yeah, I did. Very good, thank you. I forgot we we did have a pilot on the experiment. I did pilot the experiments and the traders. Thank you, Crab Cat Two. You're quite correct. Quite correct. So let's have a look at what we will be playing with next week I haven't chosen anything yet but let's have a look at the renaissance cards see what we will be playing with next week we'll probably go after a project I feel like there's lots of projects we haven't looked at yet there's lots of projects we haven't looked at yet so There's fair. We'll try fair. Fair is not very exciting. It's just at the start of your turn, plus one back. But, you know, it has value. And we have to do it, right? We could do sinister. Okay, we have a suggestion from Crabcat. We'll do sinister plot first. That is super exciting. Plot is an excellent, excellent card. Excellent card. Seriously, this is hands down one of the best projects in the game. Sinister plot. Ooh, sinister plot. And there's a lot of cool things you could do with plot, right? And you have to think every single turn with plot. Do I put the token on or do I? Well, not every single. If you have zero tokens on, then it's easy. But after that, do I take the cards or not? So that's very nice. So we look at sinister plot next week in the meantime uh, thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time